Did you guys hear about construction workers worldwide committing suicide at an alarming rate, y'all? Check this out, man. What is going on? All right, now to an alarming trend on the rise the constru- in the construction industry. New research showing that construction workers are dying by suicide at an alarming rate. While demand for construction workers continues to surge, the profession has one of the highest suicide rates. That's according to data from the CDC. In 2022, an estimated 6,000 construction workers died by suicide, an increase from the year before. Joining us now with more on this is NBC News senior policy reporter Shannon Pettypiece. Shannon, thanks for being here. So very troubling stuff here. Are there any indications about what's behind this, why this could be happening? Well, when I spoke to people in the industry, they said there's a number of factors. Um, construction is inherently a difficult job. Uh, it is physically difficult, the wear and tear on people's bodies, as well as injuries, working long extended periods outside in the sun. There's a lot of physical injuries, which can lead to things like um, you know, opioid prescriptions that can turn into addictions or other forms of self-medication. And then they said there's also just this culture of macho-ness uh, among a lot of construction workers of not asking for help of feeling like you you should be able to handle your problems you should keep those at homes and not wanting to share how they're feeling not wanting to seek out and get help and it, folks in the industry said that all those things combined can just lead to a really toxic mix that can that can you know lead people to taking their own life at a rate that is 75 percent higher among men in construction industry than it is for men in the general population who already have a higher rate of suicide than women in the general population wow so startling numbers there for sure and we're seeing these come as there is a boom in the construction industry and the shortage of workers that's also going on at the same time how does that possibly factor into how they're feeling on the job Well, people in the industry said they're really concerned about the pressures that are on workers right now. Um, There have been billions in federal dollars for infrastructure projects, new electric vehicle manufacturing plants, these semiconductor chip plants. These are huge, large-scale projects, and the industry estimates they're about 500,000 workers short of where they need to be to meet their hiring goals. So that means added pressure on the current workforce. It means longer hours. It means people working double shifts, not taking any days off, and not only for weeks at a time, but months at a time or even years at a time. And that puts pressures on individuals emotionally, physically, and it's also causing a lot of them to have to travel for work, to be away from home and their family and their support uh, networks, sometimes for over a year. And so... It really has industry officials concerned that on top of all these other factors we talked about a moment ago, those are only being amplified and magnified by this demand on the workforce. Wow, so many factors there, Shannon. So what steps are being taken within the industry to try to help this problem? Did you guys hear what she said? Men in the construction workplace are committing 75% more suicide than any other man in any other profession. That number right there is astronomical. That is crazy, y'all. Like 2024, there's like like I said, man, there's something in the air. There is something in the air. Can y'all feel it? Not just that it's hot, but there's literally something in the air. But let me know what you guys think about this video. Like, comment, and share for more videos like this. Please keep up with me on my new account. This is it right here. This is one the one I'm broadcasting on. I also need y'all to go follow my Instagram, my YouTube, and my Facebook. Like, comment, and share for more videos like this. Thank you for tuning to my frequency. We're in this shift. Peace in.